Hello, Monsters of Banter, and welcome back to Total War Three Kingdoms, Eight Princes, and my Simi UA campaign, where we're fighting over this armor smith crafting man person. It's not it's not a very big settlement, is it? And apparently we've already set 50% of it on fire. Is that... A, mm, I think that's fine. That's, never mind. Uh, the enemy army is quite large, but fortunately Simi UA is not alone. He has reinforcements approaching. Uh, they're quite far away, though, so only the cavalry will make it in time. It's already laying down a withering fire. I will crush you for this insult. Guan throwing some shade, as she does. Classic shade master. Mistress? Shade mistress. Cavalry in the forest on the right, being led by He Lun, our heir. There's Sima Yue leading the infantry in the front. And of course, Guan at the back, just throwing shade and letting other people take the flak for it. Never mind. Have they have indeed. So lots of, look at all this missile fire coming down. The enemy heroes, officers charging into the enemy line. We've got our cavalry trying to deal with enemy cavalry over here. A couple of units now moving around, trying to dodge these spears. We're going to get a little charge in here against the enemy saber militia. We're going to move in to try and mop up. There we go, slamming into the rear of them. Once we've dealt with these two units of cavalry, we can then move along and start mopping up the rest of the line. The reinforcements are just approaching the hill. Is that your best? I hope those buildings on, weren't important. It's probably okay. I think that's probably fine. Our infantry now fighting the enemy infantry on our left flank here. The warriors of Shu just tanking as mounted saber militia. They all have uh, negate charge bonus. So basically, if they get charged, nothing happens. I mean, obviously they get knocked down, but they they get the enemy cavalry get no bonus, and without that bonus. The cavalry doesn't do very well. Lots of stuff on fire. That's, you know, classic. Our cavalry is is finding it tough to break through. There's a lot of uh, sword uh, infantry of Jing. That's it. Uh, we're trying to mop up these guys. Then we can hit these guys in the in the rear. Our reinforcements, though, have arrived. Finally, led by Sao Su, smashing into the flank of the enemy forces. Sao Su's band here is going to just melt away. And we've got a couple of duels going on now. We've got Sao Su fighting... Uh, Sao Su fighting... Oh, there we go. Uh, Zhu, oh, it doesn't really matter. Who cares? Yellow, yellow enemy. Sao Su fighting yellow enemy. And Zhao Xiaotain fighting purple enemy. Nice. Now, Jarrah Chartain is quite low on health. But he is much higher ranked than the enemy general. So I think we'll be okay. We should be fine. In fact, Sao Su already just murdered. No, you didn't. Jeez, harsh. Jarrah Chartain, oh, it's looking a little bit close. But the enemy army is retreating. You see huge piles of bodies there. Our cavalry is slowly gaining the upper hand on that flank. They never quite managed to break out of that. But on the right flank, you can see our cavalry, reinforcement cavalry, just mopping up these infantry engaged with our warriors. Zhao, how's it going, buddy? Are you okay? Apparently he's fine. Fr from who? Zhao or... Doesn't matter. Our cavalry having mopped up the enemy infantry on our right flank now moving up to deal with this big blob of infantry in the center our warriors just just standing firm cutting down anyone that comes i mean look at this there's so much cavalry here and our warriors are just like don't care Sima ua and sao su leading the cavalry charge to smash into the flank of the saber infantry and dao infantry captain and with so many of their officers dead the rest of the army breaks and runs. And of course, because this is a settlement battle, this army will be destroyed at the end of the battle anyway. But uh, there's no harm in, you know, mopping up as much as possible just for funsies. That was a bit of fun, wasn't it? When justice triumphs, revelry awaits. Yep, that was, that was, laugh a minute. Oh, he's got a jade snake. But he tells all the ladies that. Um, well, I could just let you go, couldn't I? Oh, you're the heir. 
could execute the heir. Probably would piss him off. Let's just release him. Yeah, let's not be, you know, let's not be knobs about this. So you've made friends, you've made friends, you've made friends, you've made friends. Apparently lots of people, we, we had a nice little, probably a social afterwards, uh, which is nice. Nice little thing going on there. And what we have taken wish, the armor craftsman, which is very, very nice. So that gives us a chance of getting armor at the um, the start of each turn, which is good. Like a bit of armor. Especially like Ooh, special legendary armor. Oh, yes. That's what we want. Uh, let's give you a ch little bit of charge bonus. Would probably be good. Happy with that. Everyone, everyone good? Uh, right, oh, replenishment. We've taken quite a bit of damage. However, I do think we've killed most of Sima A's armies. I do think the vast majority of them are probably dead because we've destroyed three in the past sort of two turns and I don't think he probably has too many more. So I think what we're going to try and do is if we can grab the tea house then maybe try and peace out with him uh, because I mean we could try and push on but I think we've got to consolidate. I also want to grab this territory down here I might go to war with Ruin Shen. Now, Ruin Shen is, I think, yes, is your... It's a vassal of Simore, so maybe we want to do that now. Cannot. Maybe we want to do that now. Um, what we could do, let's get our army over Embarking. here. And we've also got another army here. I'm a little bit concerned we may be leaving our north completely open. Which could could end up biting me in the ass, but I'll worry about that later. Uh, let's do. That. So we've made quite a bit of, of money from selling food to people who are starving, which I quite like. Uh, Guanling, we could upgrade the court. Oh, you're cranky. Mm. It's going to make you even more cranky. Uh, if we upgrade you, we'll get. Six slots. Okay, let's do that then. Let's upgrade you. Peng Cheng, I think we can probably do the same. Um, I mean, food-wise, we're, we're doing pretty well, so I'm not overly concerned. Can we get a guest house? Let's get a guest house. Yeah. And that doesn't have anything to it. So look at all this building going on, all this infrastructure coming up. This is looking pretty good. And we, I mean, we could afford another army easily. And I'm, I'm sort of thinking maybe we should do that. Just an army in the north. Just just in case. Just on the off chance. You never know. You never know where you need an army. Oh. Our ambush succeeded. Good. Uh, well, bop. Jesus, alright. Did you just... Whoa, whoa, whoa. You, you, that, I mean, that, that's a military G. It's literally a pickaxe. You just stabbed it through a person. Holy shit, Sim, are you? I mean, just... Uh, no, who is that? Not Sima Yue. Sima Jin Wen. It's my daughter. My daughter's a fucking psychopath. Good, good, good job. You were always my favourite. Don't, don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Good God. All right. Well, that's. We would not be your enemy. Who are you? You are down here. You are. Okay. Wait, what? Simmer. Okay, yep, yep, yep. Fine, fine, fine. You're down there somewhere. Uh, I, I'm going to say no, just because I don't really need the money. And if I end up killing you, then... Oh, well. Just wasn't enough money for me to really care. Simmeray declared war on that guy. Okay, fair enough. A new dynasty. The few or the many. There is always choice that must be made if one is to achieve greatness. Before you lie to options, develop your court into a cadre of seasoned, wise scholars and warriors. All see that your people's needs are met and they want for nothing. Ooh, the mission will have stretching goals but powerful permanent effects. So we go for develop characters. So we go mind. I kind of like mind. Should we go the few? I'm for the few, not the many. 
screw you socialism uh right so we're gonna get some mind alignment okay and then i guess it's, this will lead on to other things sounds good don't know reach rank eight with one characters current total zero then we'll get uh enlightened plus 30 percent whoa is that just forever so more prestige and character experience holy shit and a new exquisite weapon lovely what do we get that's traits don't care about traits want my weapon heavenly sword yeah it's all right it's fine i guess love me a little heavenly sword right with the changing season comes new trade oh it does doesn't it let's go and grab the copper mine that should just be an easy delegate yep i'll have that thanks very much each victory brings stability to the realm Yes. Also, a big pile of dead bodies. We must lay foundations if we are to rebuild. Probably on those Point big pile of dead bodies. Okay, we can go and grab that one next. Oh, hello. Not possible. Oh, where are you off to? Does a tool maker have an army? Yes, it does. No. Might be okay. My lord. So we can grab the livestock farm. At that point, these guys have nowhere left. No, wait. Who are these guys? Sima Chi. Is that the same? So much cheat? Yeah, okay, that's the same. Right, so yeah, as soon as we grab the livestock farm, these guys will have no more territory, they'll start losing supplies, and then they're screwed. Now, I want my tea house. On our side. Strike as one. Yeah, strike that. Grab that. Thank you very much. Righteousness won today. Yes, and now we have tea. And that's the real victory. Grows. So we've got the entirety of this province, and this is quite a rich province as well, so we're making 2k here. And that's with 32% corruption, which we need to really do something about. Um, so we're upgrading the city, which is fine. We've got... Tea, so we've got, we got tea. We've got tea. Oh, awesome. So we can actually convert our guest houses back to tea houses, which gives us more money. I mean... Although, does it? Well, that's upgrade. So what's, what do we have a moment? So it gives 160 and 75% income. Or... 210. Base income's always better than additional. Because it just is. Just just trust me on that. Trust me. I am a doctor. I'm not a doctor. Never take me uh, medical advice. I was going to say military advice. Don't, don't take that either. Who are, these, who are these guys? They don't like me, do they? A bit cranky. Um, I was going to check how close we are to... Okay, we're still, we're still quite far away. That's fine. I'm just concerned that when we hit... This rank, the the victorious prince that will go to war with everyone, and that would be bad because I don't really have an I don't have enough I don't have anyone up here for a start to deal with the problem. Uh, Princess Pei, where are you? There you are. You get a heavenly sword. Good job, lovely, fantastic. We don't have anything we can do there. I, we we do have some armor. I should probably check to see. You've got. Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. Okay, let's let's check our two main Desire, armies. You've got the boisterous crickets, but you could go the unyielding scale. I'm thinking let's go the unyielding scale. I mean, it does slow him down a bit, but it does give him a crap ton more armor. So I think that's what we're doing. You are you you have Guardian, which is the best armor we could ever give you. So that's fine. What weapon do you have? You've got an heirloom spear on you. Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. I quite I like answer, my lord. I quite like Simar Key, so we're gonna keep him. I could give you like a legalist fanatic. Sure. I mean, not even that strong a character, really, but I just kind of like you. Uh, you've got that. That's all fine. Don't really have anything better there. What about my daughter's army? Got military G. We could give you an expert's leather, so let's do that. Don't have anything there. We don't have any horses. I was, I was kind of used to getting all these really good horses, but all the horse... Uh, resources are up in the north, and we just don't have access to any. I wonder if, like... Who would have them? I guess it would be these guys. Who are these guys? A waste of time. Oh, the Jin Empire. Um, do you have, just out of interest, I 
I guess we can't tra wait. No, trade and celeries. Do you have any horses? No. I mean, you'd think the AI would have something. I guess it gives their like all their generals everything, and they just never really worry about who they're giving stuff to. Would be my guess. Oh well. Uh, good, good, right. Sima A is is struggling. He he's lost most of his armies. He's lost his core territory. He's in a bit of a bind. I want to finish off this guy, and then I want to I want to deal with Ruin Shen. So we're going to kill him. Now, he's got a few territories over here. He's got a couple of armies. Nothing particularly concerning, though. I mean, we should be able to quickly overrun his territory, especially because we'll be doing it from two ends. We'll be, we'll be, he'll be basically, he'll be a Sima Yue sandwich. A delicious, delicious sandwich. Which works for me. However, uh, well, yeah, but no, Your choice. not really. Didn't didn't really have a say in it. Apparently, everyone else had their say first, and everyone decided that they didn't like you. I think again, it might be your whiny voice. They just it just cuts through them, it just cuts through them. They, don't, they just don't like it. Can't say I blame them. You do look a bit derpy. Okay, you are doing something. Sign a peace treaty. Fine. Did you request their master to go to war with Bian Bing? Okay, fine. That's. I mean, I don't really care, to be honest. Right, buildings. Buildings, buildings, buildings. What do we have here? Merchant warehouse could make the Bureau of Trade Associations, but that would really piss off the nobles. God, they'd be fucking furious about that. So we can convert it. We can upgrade, so we can upgrade to the silk. Okay, we don't have any silk, so no point in there. So that would give us more commerce, more trade influence. It would just, it would just really piss them off. Just they're furious. They're just really angry about it. Maybe we should upgrade to city. Let's do that. We've got plenty of food. Uh, let's get government support here, because that's going to give us even more food, which is good. Over here, let's go with... Uh, yes, let's do something like that. Janyi, we've now got an extra building slot. I kind of want something that will keep people happy. You know what I could do with? Is maybe some more research. Because I could, I could build a school. Should I build a school? You know what? A little bit more character experience never hurt anyone. So let's grab that. Uh, let's get a lord. No, tea parlor. Yes, of course, we want a tea parlor, don't we? And over here, we could upgrade the city. I need four building slots. Why not? Sure. That seems that seems good. Do we want the rice paddy? Mm, I'm not so sure. I'm, I mean, we, we could... Right, well, let's grab the livestock. Justice. Delegate that. Nice easy. Yeah, don't stab anyone through the chest this time. Let the wine flow. Yep, let's get some get some wine on. Good stuff. I don't know where that army's gone, but I don't think it's strong enough to actually be a concern for us at the moment. Uh, now we've got all of our armies here, which is good. Now you're replenishing. You're not the best army, but you're fine. I kind of feel like. We just get in position and then murder them. Serve the people. Stand at stand. So if we go like here, that'll replenish. That's fine. Got some rank ups here. We'll get zeal. Because that's one of the best skills in the entire skill tree. And we definitely want precision there. And, oh, you know what we do want? We want to do some recruiting. So we want some more yellow dragons there. We want to switch these out for the uh, jade dragons. So let's do that. And then we've got those guys. That's fine. Archers. We've got archer militia. Let's switch these out. Oops. Uh, swap units. Yes. I kind of want some... Heavy... Should we get some heavy repeater crossbowmen? I just don't know what they're like. Let's just get a couple of them just to see. 
I just I just want to know what they're like. They might be bad, but I know they used to be bad. Are they still bad? Have they fixed them? Are they better? Another question. Are these guys better or worse than the yellow dragons? So these guys have got one, three, three. So they're on the left. So they've got more melee evasion, more art. The yellow dragons have really got, only got 7% armor. Jesus, they're, they're super sort of like assault infantry, aren't they? So they've got, they're slightly faster. They've got more charge bonus, but pretty much, I don't think they are as good, actually. I think they're worse. Okay, well, that answered that question. Uh, we've got cataphracts. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do we get the jade dragons? So the jade dragons do have missile resistance. So they're on the left. So these guys have got more of everything apart from speed. Charge bonus. Normal melee attack. So actually, these guys do like considerably more damage, but these guys are more tanky. Meanwhile, the cataphracts just have a lot more armor. I might actually keep them. Tell you what, let's switch these guys out. Oh no, I don't want to do that. Let's switch these guys out for the Protectors of Heaven. So let's do that at least. And what's these guys? Heavy Spear Guards. Are they just better? They're slightly slower. Okay, the normal, the normal Spear Guards are... Okay, they're just basically worse in everything apart from they have... A bit more... What's, what's this? Melee Evasion Shield. Right. But otherwise, they're just, just, just better. So I'll just grab some of these guys, I guess. So let's do that because I want this army to be the very best that no one ever was. Let's do that. Okay, good. So we've got a couple of very strong armies. Deflect with shield, cleave with sword. Yep, that that is pretty much 101 of of total war i would say okay everyone's happy could get another army in the north i'm going to just hold off for the moment because i like to take chances i mean i i'm a daredevil me who not getting an army in the north that's right ladies danger's my middle name uh join war against this faction against the Jin empire i'm gonna say Jin Empire hate me, but I don't really care. Sima Chi will hate me, but I don't really care about that. Everyone else... Oh, no, they don't like it. No one likes it. What about if I just reject? So only people like it will Sima Mao and Sima Wei. Everyone else will be... No, everyone hates it. If I accept, everyone hates it. If I reject, I'll just reject. It is your choice. It is my choice. Yes, that's right. Th thanks, for, thanks for just confirming that with me. Just to be on the safe side. Right, we're going to take out Ruin Shen. And we're going to do it with extreme prejudice. Uh, oh, who died? Oh no! Replace your dead general. I don't know who it is. Oh, it's this person. Wait, who's this? Is this, um, no, it's Sao Su. Oh no, gee. Oh, that's, that's a shame. What about Sima Chan? Uh, don't know who you are. You're 19. Oh, you're my son, aren't you? Oh, okay. Well, what 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 are you? You are dutiful, deceitful. Okay, uh, fulfilled. Okay, and cowardly. Fine. I mean, you know, I guess that's probably okay. Oh, G died. That that's sad. That's a shame. And a bunch of stuff other happened, which I don't really care about because I'm mostly mourning G's death. Apparently, Sima Yao. Has come of age, that's nice. And we've got the Taoist alchemy, that's nice. Perceptive versus on observe. We've got uh, Zong Ting and Xiao Xiao. I have no idea who these guys are. Um, you. Sure, death by natural... Ah, oh, she, was, she was 69. Look at that. A loyal friend. Member of your family comes of age. There's much pride, blah, 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 blah. Whatever. 
Is it this guy? Is this the new guy? It's the new guy. He's, it's Jin Hai. Jin Hai is on observance, he's arrogant, and he's cruel. Well, he's a barrel full of fucking laughs, isn't he? Oh, he's also a chancellor as well. That's that's a bugger. Uh, so much. Yeah, I guess you. Mm. All right. A bit of nepotism never hurt anyone, did it? It's all good. Right. So. I think we're sort of. Oh, there, there, there's the army. They are. They're running out. They're, yeah, they're suffering attrition. They're running out of supplies. Not a good time to be them. I'm thinking let's give it one more turn. Just to make sure we're all sort of ready to go. Uh, if we maybe come up here. Gather your strength. We can hit the iron mine. We can hit the city. Uh, if we get you... We, we can trespass over there so we, we can hit the rice paddy. Uh, you're going to have to come through here. So basically, I think we can probably hit everything apart from this city down here in one turn. That's the plan, anyway. That's what we're planning to do. How's public order here? Public order's actually okay. Got another building slot. Uh, we've got a fishing jetties. So making some food, making peasant income. How much money are we making? 2k. Getting a little bit of corruption, but it's not too bad. Commerce and peasantry. Okay. So... We could just go for a little bit of industry, but we're not really making industry income, are we? I mean, we're getting in from compared. Let's, let's, let's do government support because we're getting a little bit of food from the the fishing jetty as well, and then we'll just boost up our peasantry income. Something like that seems fine. Uh, over here, what are we doing over here? So we're getting lots of commerce and pretty much fuck all else. So does this give any just income that reduces corruption? Could be an option. Inspector's office. More money from all sources, but that will piss off the nobles, apparently. They're just a, uh, they're just cranky. I've got a farmland and a trade port. So we could go land development. We could do this. So we are getting... What is this? We're not getting much. What is going to give us the most... I mean, the... The problem is we need to get something that's going to increase noble support as well. So we could get the grain storage. Yeah, the merchant warehouses are going to piss them off. The academy we don't have. That's going to upset nobles. So we need something that's going to in just going to increase noble support, which is going to be. Uh, I guess maybe just a land surveying office? Okay. It doesn't feel that great, but that's what we'll do. Uh, we've got a livestock farm here, so let's get some more food, because why not? Uh, let's upgrade the school, because that keeps nobles happy for some reason. I'm not quite entirely sure what the nobles actually... I think they like some sort of level of commerce, but only some types. Other types just annoy them. I think maybe it's government oversight. Potentially. Uh, so we've got a uh, rice paddy, lots, uh, lots of food here. So I'm thinking... I'm thinking we maybe go for a judiciary. But we're on the coast here. I might just go for another school. Like, the more, the more experience we get, just the better. That's my opinion. Okay, we're poised. We're ready. Waiting. And I'm going to... Oh, what can we get? It's going to... Is there anything that's going to give us more, like, happy nobles? Because the nobles are cranky. It's getting on my tits. Can we do something that's going to cheer them up? 
none of that will. But that will... Oh, there's something that reduces corruption around here, isn't there? Money from all sources would be nice. Minus corruption there, plus available administrators. Should we do that? A little bit less corruption, more money for us. That sounds pretty good to me. We'll do that. So we are poised. Let's uh, just end the turn, and then we're in a in a good in a good place to take out our next opponent. I mean, Sima A is is crushed. We have annihilated his armies. He's no longer really a threat. I don't know who you are. A rude rejection. Well, I mean, I'm, imagine we saying I don't know who the hell you are would probably be quite rude. You want money and the non-aggression pacts. I don't really know who you are. I think you've asked this before and I've ignored you. Are you down? No, that's different. I don't know where you are. Where are you? It always has a speech bubble next to him, doesn't it? Simamau, there you are. You are down... Where are you? Where the... I, well, say, I'm going to say no, because I'm not entirely sure where you are, and I might want to kill you in a bit, um, just throwing that out there. I, I don't know, maybe, maybe I won't. Maybe I won't want to kill you, but ultimately I've got a lot of money coming in, so I don't need to, to, to have a non-aggression pact with you. I would be doing you a favour. Okay, so apparently... Sima Liang has dropped dead, so Sima Ju has taken over. Okay, good stuff. Sima Wei declared war on Sima Qi. Uh, Sima A liberated Sima Qi. That happened. That happened as well. Hey, Big Spender, your court known for Haven of Entertainment, blah, 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 blah. Right, so we can get more wealth, which will annoy people, or spirits and loose. I mean, we've got plenty of money, so I think I'm just going to go. We'll, we'll invest at home. That's going to give us some satisfaction and noble support for 10 turns, which is going to be quite useful and give us a little bit of a spirit alignment, which I'm going to be honest, is probably the worst of the alignments in my opinion, but never mind. Right, so we are poised to launch an attack on Ruin Shen, literally coming up, but that is going to have to wait until next time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode of the Sima UA campaign.